beautiful evening. Oh, wasn't it? Temperatures just very comfortable, dropping into the upper 60s, the sun setting, just made for a nice evening once again. Overall, you cannot beat the weather we've had this no, past week or at least the first week in November and seems we warm temperatures dry just been pretty nice but we're gonna see some changes in a forecast as we head into Friday and much of this weekend of course some rainfall back into the viewing area along with the cooler temperatures but I want to start off with a nice photo this was submitted to me early on this morning from Mary over in Pike County kept catching yesterday evening sunset just a gorgeous photo here and uh, this is really what we've had over the past few days a lot of nice sunset photos been sent in a lot of uh, photos submitted to my page over at Chris Johnson WYMT, even over at the Facebook page for WYMT. Just a lot of photos. So you guys doing an excellent job sharing all those photos with me and uh, with WYMT and continue to do so because I always look for photos and I love sharing them on my page and also love trying to get those out on air because uh, really just some nice photos sent in. Let's get over to the temperatures this morning because that's the bigger story early on. Some mild temperatures to kick off this Thursday morning temperature readings in the lower 60s for a good chunk of eastern Kentucky. 60 degrees from London up to Jackson. 63 there, 62 in Paintsville. A little bit cooler across Cumberland Valley. Readings in the mid 50s and lower 50s there in Monticello checking in at 53 degrees right now. So overall, pretty pleasant start to your day. And later on this afternoon, of course, we're going to see a good mix of sun and clouds, but any patchy fog we have early on, that's going to clear out due to the sun rising and temperatures going to warm up into the mid 70s. And it's just going to be a very nice day once again. And I think it's going to be our last dry day, our last warm day as well before we head into your Friday where temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler. Still readings back in the lower 70s. But as we head towards the weekend, we're talking unseasonably cool conditions. Now, Mountain Almanac for this morning showing a sunrise at 7.02 a.m. Of course, that sunset getting a little bit earlier in time each day now at 5.31 p.m. And we'll continue to do so as we head towards the winter season. Live pinpoint Doppler showing you a clean sweep across all of central and eastern parts of the state. We zoom things out. We're nice and dry because of this high pressure situated across the Virginias. But look back towards the north and west. Keeping an eye on a cold front. Pretty strong cold front bringing some rainfall, even some heavy snowfall across the Dakotas. This is all going to push towards the east and that's going to bring some rain chances into our forecast area as we head into Friday afternoon and then once again into the first part of your Saturday morning. Temperatures across the eastern United States pretty mild to kick things off, even seeing those mid 70s across the Gulf states. But look towards the west where that cold front situated. Big temperature differences across the central plains, mid to upper 60s from Wichita down to Oklahoma City, even Dallas checking in at 68 degrees, about 200 miles to the west. Temperatures in the mid 40s, so seeing how strong this cold front is with those big temperature differences. Now, future view, we start things off at 9 o'clock this morning. Going to be mild as we kick off this day. Of course, pretty warm this afternoon. Temperatures rising back into the mid 70s. Cloud cover will begin to increase a little bit more, especially this afternoon into this evening, but we should stay dry. Maybe a stray shower late tonight into early Friday morning, but like I said, most of us should stay dry. Now, as we do head into your Friday afternoon, cold front's going to edge closer to the Commonwealth, eventually working into central heading towards eastern Kentucky by mid afternoon or so, and this could provide some moderate to heavy rainfall, possibly an embedded thunderstorm. Not expecting any severe weather with this, but could drop a good amount of rainfall pretty quickly, and we could see uh, some areas pick up around a quarter up to a half inch, especially along the Kentucky, Tennessee and Kentucky, Virginia border. Reason being some additional showers expected to develop from the southwest and work towards the northeast, especially across those higher terrain areas and looking at some of the rainfalls over the next 24 to 36 hours. Not a heavy rain event up to about a quarter inch across most locations. Of course, a little bit heavier amounts across southern and southeastern parts of Kentucky from Middlesbrough to Harlan, even Wise, Virginia. But the heavier rain going to stay well to our south and east. Seven day forecast where your weekend is always in view. Lower 70 sticking around for your Friday rain chances ramp up. Few lingering showers possible Saturday morning and in temperatures taking a nosedive. Upper 50s for high Sunday and as we head into early next week, more rain chances in the forecast as temperatures moderate back towards the middle 60s. Now let's get a check of the refrigerator art. This is your fourth and final check of the refrigerator art this morning. Always love showcasing the wonderful art from the kids here across eastern Kentucky. Nice photo sent in from Matthew over at Porter Elementary. Time now is 647. You're watching Mountain News this morning right here on WYMT.